Hi, my name is Soas from Origin, and these are my top 5 top laners for solo queue. Number 5 is Queen for me. She is quite a strong laner. You can bully a lot of uh, heroes, especially melees. Uh, you tend to do really good against tanks and bruisers overall. Not so good against APs, but you can try to win early against them. You can snowball your lane quite good, but you're not so strong in team fights. So I think Queen is probably better on top than mid due to the fact that you play against mostly bruisers or tanks top and you probably play a lot more against assassins and AP mages on mid lane. My number four is Jax. You're a pretty good laner against a lot of things. You're 50-50 against most of the mages like Rumble, etc. And you're pretty good against most of the melees due to the fact that you have your E and you can dodge basic attacks. Really good at split pushing overall and your item build makes it a lot stronger to split push on him. You're also quite good in team fight, so he's overall a good solo queue champion. You're not so strong early, but you tend to be a lot stronger as one or two items, so his laning is not that great compared to before, but you're a lot stronger as two items. Due to the new Thunderlord Mastery, you can abuse a lot more matchups. Usually, Lulu was really good against most of the matchups top lane 1v1, but you can play so aggressive due to being able to get gank early on. With the Thunderlord Mastery, you'll E, auto, Q, and proc it. So you're really, really strong laner. You can roam a lot when you have like 35% CDR or something like this. And as soon as you have 300 AP, you're strong, you're still strong on lane and you're also really strong in team fight. So if one of your either AP carry or your ADC is fed, you can just help them out in team fight and, and just win the game. Basically, if you're, if you're fed and one of them is as well, you can two versus five. Malphite is pretty strong against most of the Bowser, such as like Fiora, Jax, all of this. With the Thunderlord Mastery, same as Lulu and Queen, for example, you, you have a lot more burst. So when you do your full combo with R, E, Q, etc., you will deal a lot more damage than in the past. He's a lot better in lane right now, and he's still really strong as roaming middle or in team fight to engage and initial team fights overall. Number one is Fiora. She's a lot harder to master compared to other champions, but once you did, she's gonna feel amazing. She's she, she's like the full package uh, for a top planner. You can do a lot of different things. You can team fight, you can split push. You also quite strong laner if you know to play her well. So you can, she's pretty much the whole package for a top laner. You just have to play a lot, try to master her, and then you'll do really good on her. Irela is my bonus pick. She's quite good at finding kills with with your jungle. So you can set up quite good ganks for, for him and get a kill on top. She's really strong laner once you have one kill, so you can snowball quite hard your lane. And she, she isn't the greatest team fighter, but once you play her well, you will find ways to play in team fight and stun good targets at a good time. And she's pretty good at roaming overall, so I will probably play her with TP and try to find kills a bit everywhere on the map. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out the rest of the guides over at lolclass.com.